The purpose of this video is to answer one of your guys' questions out there um, about what an investor is and what that really means. There's all this talk going on about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and FHA and somebody was just like, hey, can you just explain this? And I am happy to do that. It took me about a couple weeks to get the answer, but here you go. Um, if you are somebody out there who has a question, ask me your question. I will always do my best to record a video for you. Subscribe to the page, like my videos, leave a comment, anything you can do to kind of just share your story and help me get enough subscribers to get this information out to the people who need it is great. So the question is, what does Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac and FHA really mean? What is that really mean right and how is that different from your bank so investors real simply are the people who loaned the money so when you went and took out your mortgage someone had to like give you the money right and most mortgages I think it's like 90% of mortgages in America are government backed you'll hear the phrase GSE loans that means in some way the government is involved in giving you money and so most of you out there who have a mortgage in some way have borrowed money from either Fannie Mae Freddie Mac or FHA the Federal Housing Administration and all that means is they're the ultimate decision maker on whatever happens with your loan and they're the people who gave you the money once they give the money then servicers or lenders step in to actually handle the day-to-day -day transactions related to your mortgage so people like Bank of America Wells Fargo caliber um, SPS SLS I could go on for a long time but those are the people that are servicing your loans so you can have an FHA loan that is serviced by Bayview Loan Servicing. What that means is your servicer is the one that is actually issuing your mortgage statements. They're the ones that you call. They're the ones that process your payments. They're the ones that often decide your escrow balance, right? They're the ones that if you have a problem, like if you've defaulted and you apply for some sort of relief, like a loan modification, they're the people that you actually work with. So it is a very rare if ever, for you to actually talk to your actual investor. You very rarely will speak to a representative from FHA because these, these investors that actually give the money hire these servicers to actually do the day-to-day. However, when you apply for something like a loan modification, you apply through your servicer and then there's a decision point, right? The servicer takes what you applied for and they go to the investor and they say, please approve this. Please let us put this homeowner on a loan modification or please let us approve this short sale. And then the investor has to sign off on it. So servicers, the middlemen, the people actually working on it, the baby loan servicings of the world or the Ditex or whoever you've got, they are the people that can sell the servicing rights between them. So you might have an experience where you have a bank called Rushmore for a while, and then all of a sudden you'll get a letter from a servicer called Shellpoint, and they'll say, hey, we're your new lender, we have your loan now. Your investor doesn't change. So if you took out a loan from FHA and you were given to a Bank of America and then Bank of America sends you a letter and saying you now have Rushmore, that still means that your investor, the people who loan the money is the same. It just means that the servicer has changed and that's called a service release. If you have more questions about service releases, the problems that they cause or what you can do, watch my videos about service releases, but that's kind of what happens between the servicers. And so if you're in a situation where you're one of these people that's either in default or you're trying to transition off of a COVID plan, the way that you know what you're eligible for is by knowing who your investor is. So if you have FHA or Freddie Mac, you're you know, entitled to several different options to transition off these COVID plans like payment deferrals, easier loan modifications, repayment plans, things like that. If you have FHA, they're supposed to be making the process for you to get a partial claim easy. And so you're your first step is to figure out who's my investor, who's the decision maker, do any of these protections being announced by the government apply to the investor that I have, and then you work with your servicer. So I hope that kind of clarifies the difference between who's what and who's doing what. Good luck.